welcome to the Imp Cube channel. I've got a camera now. I can't actually show you the camera because I'm holding the camera. I'm trying to vlog more often as possible. And I'm here with Oliver. You may have known him from the Seattle Talks one and also the Gamer one and a couple of random interviews on the street where he shows up to. So today we're gonna talk about approaching people, approaching people randomly, strangers. I get messages in my inbox asking me, like, hey, how do you have all that guts to talk to random strangers? It could be anybody, it could be a dude, it could be a girl. It doesn't matter who it is. Honestly speaking, when I first started doing those interviews, I was scared shitless. Like, talking to people randomly, even for like a reason of interviewing, is like, difficult. you grow up and everybody tells you don't speak to strangers. And behind the scenes, we don't usually record behind the scenes, that's the reason why I have a vlog camera now. Behind the scenes, Oliver, when he films with me on the street doing interviews, he's actually ran to people and said, hey, you wanna do an interview? Even though he's not holding a mic, he just goes, does it and just brings people in, which is the craziest thing because I'm holding a mic, so I have a reason to go. Like, he's just a random person asking for somebody to do an interview with no mic or camera in hand. What's your view on it, Oliver? I don't know, I just find it fun. It's a chance to meet new people, talk to them. It gets me out of my comfort zone, forces them out of their comfort zone as well, and it's just a good time. You get to interact with people you normally wouldn't, and you might make a new friend. We do get rejections. All, all the time. time. All the time. That's part of the fun. It's exhilarating if you ask me to meet someone strange. Like you never know who, where they came from, their walk of life, their background, uh, their experiences in life. Even after interviews, like when you actually talk to them after and ask other questions that are a little bit more personal than what the topic is in an interview, that's pretty cool. I actually met Oliver randomly on the street. So, and I've known you for how long now? Oh God. Couple years, maybe yeah. more. Even for Mario, like my camera guy, we met him randomly. It's been two and a half years now, almost three years of him squared. People refer to that as EB, which is like bitch butterflies, like you have butterflies in your stomach. That's the feeling you get. You get the, the shyness of talking to people. It doesn't matter who it is. There's some days where like I would come to an interview on the street and I know my topic, I know exactly what I'm filming, I know the whole process of filming an interview, like from start to end. I'm ready to go. Come into the street, feel the vibes on the street street with people like randomly looking and staring I just instantly go into my shell I feel like nervous going to someone I'm pretty sure Oliver's he's done that. yeah I've definitely had my in, in your mind of, we're just like uh, it's hard sometimes. Yeah. It takes a lot to like push through it what would you tell people how to start not, not even going for the first saying hi how would they actually start it? you just have to throw yourself over the deep end no matter how scary it is once you've talked to like one person randomly even though you're really scared you'll know it's possible like I did it once I can do it again then you know it's nothing to be too scared of even if you feel nervous for example like I've walked by people and I've looked them in the eye and it's like for like half a second I, I see them in the eyes and you know they look too and then we continue on our way like even that's an interaction yeah right uh, while I'm talking about this Oliver's on his phone obviously yeah yes anyway I don't know if this is gonna go, actually go on the channel kind of playing around with this camera we are at the Vancouver Art Gallery right in the front if you're ever in Vancouver and you're downtown and you see me filming just say hi I will always say hi. Thanks for watching. Make sure like, subscribe. Check out Ip Squared if you haven't been there yet. It's pretty cool. A lot of interviews, a couple skits. We'll have more on that channel. Once the weather gets better, we'll be filming more too. Hopefully, you'll see more vlogs from me. Vlogs, vlogs, vlogs. It's a vlog.